Hi, I'm Scott Stein, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and this is the Acer Aspire 1 722BZ608. Now, it looks like a netbook. It's about the same size as a netbook. It's a little larger. It's 11 inches for the screen. And that puts it in sort of an in-between zone. If you're looking for a very portable, what we call an ultra-portable type laptop, there are ones we've seen this year that are faster and better than the Atom netbooks that we used to see all the time over the past couple of years and have grown somewhat slim and, and harder to find now that devices like the iPad are more popular. Well, what do you get out of something like this 11-incher here is a faster processor, um, more beefy specs, meaning a 500 gig hard drive and 4 gigs of RAM on this model, which is really what you find in your average 13 to 15 inch laptop, and a pretty good price at 379. Now the processor in here, well I said it's faster, that's kind of a relative term. It's an AMD C50, which is much better than an Atom netbook for video streaming. So if you're watching Netflix or Hulu on a little device like this, it streams it really well, and that's important to note because Atom netbooks don't. And uh, if you're a video watcher, that's great. But it's not really that impressive a feat because, heck, iPads, smartphones, gaming consoles can all stream Netflix now. And it, it's not really the domain of laptops necessarily anymore. But it's good for that. It's obviously not that great for gaming, although it can play your casual game, your Bejeweled 3, or that sort of thing. And that's about it. I mean, it's about the size and weight of a 10-inch netbook. It's a little plasticky, and that goes into one of our issues with it, which is the keyboard. The keyboard is mushy feeling, and it's not as nice as other keyboards we've seen, although it is full-sized. So if you're a big writer, someone who uses their netbook or portable a lot to write, you might want to look for one with a slightly better keyboard. But for its beefy specs, I mean, you can put your whole music or photo library onto this, and the 4 gigs of RAM allows you to keep multiple programs open. So there you go. If you're a budget shopper and you're looking for something that's uh, cheap, under $400, take on the go, take a look at this Acer Aspire. But just remember, for a few dollars more, you get something a little bit faster and better. It's a difficult spectrum to navigate. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Acer Aspire 1 722BZ608.